cover article in Time Magazine, the big cover picture of arthritis in the, in the hands and knees. He said, there's a coming epidemic of arthritis. Now, what does that mean? For the most part, uh, arthritis is a degenerative disease, not genetic. It has nothing to do with age. Babies can be born with arthritis. And then there's a form of arthritis called rheumatoid arthritis, which doctors will tell you about, but it's not. It's actually bone-to-bone arthritis with a secondary infection with a bug called mycoplasma, which is easily killable in two weeks with an antibody called minocycline, a member of the tetracycline family. What, your doctor didn't tell you about that? Well, again, arthritis, osteoporosis, osteopenia, yeah, um, things like um, osteoarthritis, degenerative arthritis, bone bone arthritis, bone spurs, kidney stones, periodontal disease, which is osteoporosis of the base, are all due to multiple mineral and multiple vitamin deficiencies. Okay, and the reason why there's a coming epidemic of arthritis is because these nutrients are no longer found in your food, or maybe there's a little bit, but not certainly optimal amounts. Well, how do you detect this? Well, first of all, you can look at a hair analysis. It's kind of interesting that when you're significantly deficient in uh, calcium, the calcium in your hair analysis is going to be high. And the magnesium will usually be high. Well, what's going on there? Well, your parathyroid glands are pulling calcium and magnesium out of the bones, trying to maintain your blood calcium. They don't get uh, all kinds of problems, including muscle cramps and so forth, uh, and arthritis. And so the first thing the doctor, when he sees that elevated blood calcium in your blood and elevated calcium in your hair, it's all we've got to take your parathyroid glands out. And then you let him do that, you're going to be married to that doctor forever because you're going to need his help on a daily basis because you really messed up your mental system if you remove your parathyroid glands. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, get a hold of the books, Epigenetics, The Death of the Genetic Theory of Disease Transmission, the book Dead Doctors Don't Lie, the book Dead Doctors Don't Lie, the CD and the DVD, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, all right, and the book Rare Earth Ventures goes, in, goes into uh, great detail here on why elevated blood calcium and elevated hair calcium being a raging osteoporosis is the opposite of what you would think. Then, uh, let's see here. Uh, when it comes to bone spurs, they always occur, again, when people have raging osteoporosis. The first thing your doctor says, well, you got these calcium deposits in your bones, you got bone spurs, uh, don't eat any dairy products and don't take any supplements of calcium. Well, he, the doctor has no idea. He was out probably smoking pot during those courses where they talked about nutrition. Knows nothing about these things. Same with kidney stones. You get kidney stones, your allergist say, oh, don't, don't eat dairy products and stay away from calcium supplements. Well, kidney stones do not come, the calcium and kidney stones don't come from your food. It comes from your bones and your parathyroid bands are overworking and uh, pulling too much calcium out of your bones and your blood calcium goes up like triple of high normal and that really freaks Dr. out. Well, and I'll tell you what to do about all this in just a moment. And then, uh, let's see here. You also want to look at kidney, when I said kidney stones, but there's fractures, spontaneous fractures. And see, I'm only 30 years old and I was, you know, kind of jogging and my hip broke and I fell down. Most people will say, oh, I fell down and broke my hip. No, the hip broke and then you fell down. So what I want you to do is, again, get a hold of the book, Epigenetics, The Death of the Genetic Theory of the Transmission, the book, the CD and the DVD, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, get a hold of the book, Rare Earth and Cure, so you really understand what's going on here. And once you take the 90 essential nutrients, 16 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, 3 fatty acids, and then I want you to get an extra um, supply of vitamin D. We, we, young Jimmy, we have a spray, a little spray, or a capsule. On the road, I like the capsules. On the way home, I take the, the spray. And each spritz in the spray, each capsule, you get about 5,000 international units of vitamin D3. Very, very important. That's in addition to your 90 substance nutrients, which contain the D2, okay? And so you want to get the combination of D3 and D2 and all the other uh, 89 essential nutrients. And then your bones, uh, your connective tissue, all want to repair itself. You know, you have the genes, the DNA, the RNA, the telomeres. They really want to heal your body, but they require raw materials to do this. And so it's, it's imperative, it's imperative that you get a hold of these books, you get a hold of these products. And of course, we like to use, if that's all you have, if you just have bone and connective tissue problems, uh, I would get one healthy bone and joint pack per 100 pounds of body weight, get an extra bottle of either the spray vitamin D3 or the capsule vitamin D3 from Young Jimmy, and they're going to support and promote healthy maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, discs between the vertebrae, bone, make your bone cell. And it's amazing. It's amazing. 
Our bodies are meant to heal themselves. We have great genes. Humanity hasn't gotten this far um, because our bodies are stupid. Okay, our bodies have the, the ability to heal themselves, but it does require a lot of Medical doctors have the insane belief that your genes and DNA and RNA and telomeres are autonomous, and they'll make stuff even though you don't have raw material. They're, they're going to do what they're going to do. It's nonsense. Okay, it's kind of like having a blueprint without bricks and mortar, without wood, without screws and nuts and bolts, without carpenters and roofers and shingles and all that kind of stuff. You can have the very best blueprint of a house, but unless you have all the raw materials, the tools, and the skilled um, tradesmen to do all this stuff, you're not going to get a house. Same with your body. You have the best genes in the world. You know, your grandma uh, could have been an alcoholic, did drugs, smoked, did bad things, and she would be 120. Well, unless you're taking it all 90 cents nutrients, don't try that yourself. Otherwise, you're not going to make it to 120 guaranteed.